Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be installing the Solid Shield Grill Guard from Laverne on our Ram Promaster. Let's get started. Luverne does provide installation instructions in the box. So make sure you grab yours and reference those for the ultimate source of information when installing these. We're doing our best to follow them, of course. Um, and this may seem like it's pretty intense installation, but it's not too bad, actually. You just have to remove some components to get access to some of the locations where we're gonna mount the brackets for this bumper. And so at a high level, basically what we're gonna be doing is we gotta take two bolts out on the left side of the bumper, put in a bracket, put those bolts back in. Same thing on the passenger side. Then we actually have to remove this grill area so we can access another point for a bracket, put it all back together and then mount our bumper uh, or grill guard on those brackets. So it's not too bad. So we're gonna get started by removing these two bolts here and getting our front brackets in place. So let's get into it. Okay, we're just under the driver's side bumper right here and you can see we have the frame uh, that meets the bumper right up here. We've got these two lines. That's where the bolts are that we need to remove. We're just using our, uh, what is that, a 15 millimeter to remove those bolts. We'll slide our bracket in place. So the driver's side bracket slips. Um, you're going to reuse those bolts and you can see that the bracket is kind of slipped on top of that existing black bracket. We're right here and you're going to reuse those screws, tighten them up, and then it comes out on your bumper looking like that. Okay, on the passenger side, we need to do the same thing, but there's this plastic undercover. It's in the way, and so we need to remove, uh, on ours it's three screws. The instructions called for three bolts, but screws in ours, so I don't know if that's, if it differs from model to model. Um, or if there is, or is it an old van, maybe someone modified it. We're gonna take those out, do the same thing. All right, as you can see, we've got the same type of bumper interface as we do on the driver's side. Um, and just mirrored with our bracket, we're going to slide this. Right there is kind of our location. We're gonna finagle it a little bit more. Get, get our bolts in place and we'll be done with these brackets. Okay, so we had to jump ahead a little bit and we removed this front grill and this fascia a little bit early because um, this is a 10 year old ProMaster and at some point someone must have uh, run up on like a curb or one of those parking cement blocks or something like that and it bent the bottom part, the support bar that holds up the bottom of the bumper. And uh, so that bracket from Laverne has a little notch in there where that support bar is supposed to slide in Ours was way too high because you know it had been bent up, and so we couldn't get that bracket in place. So we had to take this part of the grill and the fascia off so we could bend that back down and uh, get our bracket to fit. One thing I did notice when we had all of this removed, it's actually a lot easier. You can kind of pull these uh, off to the side, and you can, with an extension, you can get a ratchet in there and tighten and loosen those bolts really easily. So you may want to remove this uh, earlier just if you're having trouble reaching those bolts. So to just reverse engineer it, because the next step is to actually remove the fascia and the grill. I just wanna show you what is involved in that. You've got two pieces here. The, the grill uh, sits on top of the fascia. There's just six T30 Torx uh, bolts that hold this on. You're gonna take this off, and then there's something like 16 of those same T30 bolts holding these on. You're just gonna remove those take this and set it off to the side. Okay, now we're gonna attach the top brackets to the bumper and we're gonna reuse some holes that hold on this cooler line right here. So there's uh, two bolts that hold on this bracket right here and there's one that holds on a bracket over here. And we're actually gonna use two outside bracket holes to attach our top brackets. Now, there is some difference from vehicle to vehicle. Some do not have threaded uh, inserts already in the bumper. And so Laverne provides you a tool and some riv nuts to put in those holes and give you a nice threaded mounting location. Ours already has that. I don't know if it has to do with the 3500 model or whatnot. This is a 24, uh, 2014 model year. Um, so we're just gonna loosen up these three 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna take out the, the two outside bolts. We're gonna put in our top brackets and then we're going to uh, replace those bolts with some longer bolts that Laverne gives you in the kit. Now that we have our two brackets in place, we can actually put in our lower fascia. We 
do slide this through two of these slots here. And then we can reattach this with all the same hardware that we used to remove it. With our lower fascia in place, we can actually get to the fun part and bring the bumper guard, grill guard, and hook it up to our brackets. We're gonna start with our lower brackets. Um, what we wanna do is we have this mounting bar right here for accessories and things like that. We have a center location. I don't know if you can see that in any of the cameras. That's kind of the center of this grill guard. We wanna line this up with the center of the van. And so the orientation in which you mount these brackets to the lower part may vary. And then uh, underneath this second bar here, there are some threaded inserts that you can attach these top brackets to. And like I mentioned, these top brackets go into these threaded points on this middle bar. Now that all of our connection points are attached, we're gonna go through and tighten all the mounting hardware. Now we're gonna put in our upper fascia or our grill back in here, and this is just six of those T30 bolts. Now one step just to finish up is we left this cover uh, unattached down here. And there is a conflict with that bracket down there, so you do need to use a razor blade or some other trimming tool to uh, accommodate for that bracket that's sticking out there, and then reattach it using the same hardware you use to remove it. Now that just about does it here for the installation of the solid shield. Again, this is a 2014 Ram ProMaster 3500. There may be some differences from model year to model year and model to model, so take that into consideration. Now if you're looking for the solid shield or any other equipment to get your van ready for work, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan, and have a good one.